From the start of week, we have had a really good run on BBIG. You guys will know we are up big in the past five days. A low on the five day was down here at $5. From that point, we are up. We've hit $6, almost even $7. But right now, we're down by 2.2% on the day. The question is, what has happened? Why are we down today? And ultimately, what comes next? Does this matter? And what would I personally do? And actually, what am I personally doing? Because right now, I am in BBIG, but I will talk more about that in just a moment. All of that and more is coming up in this video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe. But do remember, guys, it's not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. And especially with a stock like BBIG or any of these more risky stocks, I want you guys to be fully informed of the high risk that they do carry and again i just want you guys to know what you're getting yourself into do your research make sure you're informed but other than that yes subscribe share the video with friends and family that would be massively appreciated and now we're going to jump into the video so you know what guys we'll start this one again on the simple charts and we'll just look at what we are seeing uh, across the market so generally speaking things are looking okay across the markets we can see the dow jones is up today by 1.48 percent and a positive trend is somewhat what we are seeing across a lot of the major us indexes or indices today which is of course a good thing however it's not being mirrored here in bbig now i think there are a few reasons for that and what my approach is you know i'm not too concerned as of yet i think looking at the chart on the on the uh, five day chart we can see one simple thing we've run up by two dollars in the past you know uh four or five days that is a big deal and it definitely does count for something bear in mind guys if you'd have bought in here at 4.99 five dollars whatever held up until here you'd have made some nice profits held until right now you would have still made some really nice profits so you know money has been made and again Along the way, people will probably want to get out of BBIG. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say everybody's trying to escape the stock, but some people have been holding this stock for a long time. Some people have been holding since here, here, and they're thinking, okay, I was down big there, and actually now I'm getting annoyed with this. I'm only down a small amount. I'm probably going to get out of this stock whilst I still can. Now, again, my personal opinion is not that, because like I said, I did actually add to BBIG today, but I'll get into that more in a moment. So down here, uh, yeah, people will have bought in, they'll have seen their profits go up, they'll have held on through the dips, and now they'll be thinking, well, I've still got a nice amount of profit, why not just leave it probably? I think that is one approach, I think also we do have some potential swing traders bought in at $5, which was a very smart thing to do actually, spotted the early signs of a reversal as we did here on this channel, bought in at $5, and then perhaps sold off uh, now towards the end of the week, yes we still do have one day to go, but you guys get what I'm saying, I think this is mainly because of BBIG related factors, I'm not talking about fundamentals here, I think a small dip of 2%, 2.4%, maybe even 3% after a week where we've been up 5% on the day, 10% on the day, 20% on the day. A dip of, you know, 18 cent in this context is not that bad. I'm still not concerned. I think we're in a really good position actually still for BBIG. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a few of the technical indicators and then I will share my opinions as I said and talk about what I am doing. So the one day chart shows us simple figures. We can see we're almost exactly on that moving average. Now it is a little bit higher than where we are right now and we do still have a lot of time to go. Now usually guys you will know that I do make these videos later on in the day but due to uh, factors I'm not doing that today. I just thought it'd be better to bring you a video earlier than not bring you one at all. So yeah, we still have time to go, but you can see the one day chart data. Now 52 is the RSI and the MACD is now becoming bullish. But again, this is the one day, not the most relevant in my opinion. Things become more clear on the five day. We're sat on the moving average almost exactly. You can see just a little bit of a pink tab sticking up out of the top if you look very closely. So I'm not too worried about that really at all. Now the RSI figure for this time period is at 50, which is really good as well. That's absolutely neutral. So it's just where we want it to be. And we are seeing the MACD being neutral as well, but creeping to the negative side, I think, as time does go on. But after this consolidation period, which I would call it through late today, it has kind of, you know, caught up and it is sitting quite flat. Anyway, the past month data is now becoming clear. Things looking okay here. We can see we have been on the way down for the month, as I said. We hit lows on the 6th, it does appear to be the case. Uh, from there, we found a support around $5 that stuck for this day and this day as well. So the 8th and the 9th into the 10th, I believe it was, it stuck at that support. Then we had that big rocket up for two days, perhaps even the third day there as well. And now we're seeing a bit of a dip. So again, Look at how much we are up by, and I don't think it is too concerning. I don't think this is a start of a bearish trend again with BBIG. Again, it's still very, very early to say. I still think we are on the bullish side of things. 
But another thing to take into account, these are these quote-unquote meme stocks, as you guys will know. Look at the other meme stocks. We've seen ATER basically neutral on the date. Now, CEI, I, I don't really class it as one, but that is also down by 9% if you are interested. Scroll down a bit further, AMC is actually up by 7% and ANY down by 1.35, with MRIN being down by a further 4.18%. So I think you guys get the score of what I'm trying to say. Things are coming down across the sector as a whole, so I'm not really too concerned on the day. I think going forwards into Friday, we are still in a really good position. Now, ideally, we want to see growth into Friday, get us up to $7.00. That would be really fantastic for the reasons which I said in yesterday's video. If you want to find out what they are, you will have to give it a watch. But yeah, I spoke about this one creeping up to 7 and how that would be an ideal scenario. 750 is still doable in my case, but I think being as we have less and less time uh, until Friday, 750 is becoming increasingly less likely. I mean, it doesn't mean it's not possible, but I think it is becoming less likely. But $7 is not impossible at all. It's only about 40, if not less, cent away from where we are. I do not see any reason at all why that cannot happen. And again, 750 could theoretically happen, but, you know, that is a high, a very, very high estimate. So, what am I doing with this stock right now? Well, as I said, at $5, I, I, I saw this was a relatively good buy. I saw a bit of a trend change coming. And again, I'm not trying to say that I'm right all the time, so please don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying that was one of those scenarios where I thought we we're in a fantastic position. It was almost textbook, and I was really happy with it. Now, where we came to now, uh, unfortunately, I was in some other positions at that time. But what I did is I opened a leverage position on this stock today. Now again, it does not necessarily sound like the best option, but it is just more of a risk adverse strategy. So basically, I have a few hundred dollars or pounds riding on BBIG at the moment. I'm anticipating it going up. Now again, I'm holding this one for more of a swing trade. It's just my personal approach. I'm looking for a move above 750, like I said, not in the next day or two. I'm not bothered how long it takes, perhaps even above $8, but it just depends on where this trend does take us. But what I'm trying to say in this video is that, yes, I have actually entered BBIG. Again, it's only on a small position, so what I do with it, I initially wanted to day trade it today, but what I do with it going forwards, I am not sure. But at the moment, I am holding BBIG. I do have good hopes for it, and I think, you know, still we're in a really good position. The next few days will be crucial, as I said, and going forwards into Friday, we still do want to hold that $7 price target in mind. I hope we can hit it. Tell me your thoughts down below. I think today was just a reasonable cool-off. If we can just bounce back off this tomorrow and see more growth, I would be very happy, but only time will tell. Tell me your opinions down below, and remember guys, I am not a financial advisor, and this is not advice. Well, thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon